Blame it on the alcohol, blame it on the Yeah, cause I got it like that Flow so smooth like I got it on tap Yeah Hey guys, it's, Ch it's Shadow Wolf 219 here, and so today we are playing Wolf of Among Us. I think this is a, I think this is gonna be episode three, chapter one, and we're we have Dejan with us today. He's gonna be joining What's us up, for the whole series. Yep. Yes, yeah, so we're about to start episode three. Ooh, this looks interesting. Yeah. Asshole. Our Kabar. stories used to be so simple. We had a beginning, a middle, yeah. and an end. But ever since we moved to this awful city, everything's gotten so confused. Uh, I Fucking crane. You can't or you won't. Snow. This looks so devious. Indeed. I just want you to be careful. I almost lost you once and... I'm not yours to lose. I'm not going to be an errand girl for Crane anymore. It's not Holly, it's her sister Lily. She was hoping to pay down dead. Eventually, the only people she yelled were at her work. You know, that shithole club with the pudding and pie. Oh, not again. My name is Nerissa. Well, for you, Ed. Well, Nerissa, I've got some questions. Why? The open arms. Oh hey, we're going to a, a second half. <laughs> Well, at least it was in the beginning. What is it? <gasps> it's Crane. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> Showing me tits again? Come on. Hey, you know, you know what we like. <laughs> I know what I like, but come on now. I have to edit that out again. Uh-oh. Something's gonna happen. I'll kill him. I'll rip him apart. Crane? <laughs> Ugh. God, you think you'd know a person. Bigby, you have to tell her. I know. What's going on? What did you find up there? You know, other than the... Crane's the killer. What? Ichabod Crane? How do you know? Shit! Crane's been... <clears throat> oh, Bigby, calm down. Everything's going to be fine. Okay, it's going to be fine. Will someone please explain this to me? That perverted little fucker might be after Snow. I need to find her right now. Okay, it's it's going to be okay. Where did you see her last? Did she say where she was going? She took Holly to the business office to prepare for the funeral. Lily's funeral? Yeah. How do you know? I was just at the trip trap, and I heard Gren telling some folks about a funeral at the Buckingham the Bridge. Trip trap? Are you drinking? When? Right now. They were on their way out. Bigby! Wait. What? Snow's... Snow's been through a lot. There are things she doesn't talk about. Just... Please be careful. I know. No, you don't know. You know how you felt when you saw that picture? Well, it's going to be much worse for her. Just remember that. Huh. Jesus, man. Jesus Christ. What are your thoughts? Get that bitch playing. Uh huh. That's that's for damn sure. I'm gonna rip him a new one. <laughs> I'm um, honored to be asked to speak tonight. Even if it's tradition that everyone speak. Lily had many friends, but few fables she was truly close to. That's the best place to give up. If you were here, then you were part of a very special circle. People she trusted and cared for. I won't, um, offend you by claiming one day that, that the pain of losing love uh, I won't go there yet. Uh. I know as well as you that it, it will never subside. 
Hold on. But I also know that the, that the memory of Lily will yeah. sustain as well. And it will, in time, equal in strength to our mourning her loss. And it is in that spirit that I'd like to talk about what you've all been so grateful to share with me. Your memories of her. How she could be stubborn Your and Highness. patient. Oh, uh, Sheriff. I'm sorry, I, uh, I didn't see you there. Are you old enough? About as well as you'd think. I haven't had any other, um, it's never been as bad as when you saw me. I was angry at first. When I heard that Lily was getting a funeral, Holly was getting closure. I wanted that too. And I wanted it for Faith. But then I remembered Faith lived a story Lily never did. She had her adventure. She got to live in the light of forever after with me. For a while. So let Lily have the better finish. I'm sorry, Lawrence. I know, Sheriff. Sure. And thanks for saving my life. Take care of things, okay? It be. Is everything okay? No, not you. Holly, it's... He wasn't fucking invited. Holly, wait. He has no right to be here. Not after what he did. Yeah. Holly, I'm sorry, but I had to come. You throw my sister down the witching well, and you have the nerve to show your face here? After you lie? After you promise me? Holly, wait. That was Crane. Just Crane. He disposed of Lily's body before Big B could do anything about it. I'm telling you the truth. Don't cover for him. But this genuinely wasn't his fault. You can't tell me. Big B gives a shit about this. Correct. Holly. Crane's a fucking prick, so this doesn't surprise me. Hey, what do you know? We actually agree on something. If he cares, Holly. He's trying to help. And I'm sure he has a very good reason for being here. But this one isn't on him. Why are you here, anyway? And don't say it's because you care about this. Everything okay? I think I know who murdered your sister. Ooh. Maybe we should talk about this somewhere else? What? No, I deserve to know. We all deserve to know. Yeah. No, I, I know, but this isn't the way to go about this. I don't give a fuck about the way. I don't care about procedure. I think it was Ichabod Crane. What? Crane? Crane. Okay, everyone, just stop. Bigby and I are going to have a little chat while everyone else gets back to the funeral. What? He says that fucking Crane murdered Lily and you expect me to- Please, I promise I will tell you what the hell is going on just as soon as I know there's something to tell, but just let us do our jobs first. Look, Holly, I know how this must- No, you don't know how this must feel. You have no idea. Don't fuck anything up. Don't bother anybody. And when the first sign of trouble comes, and it will come because you're a goddamn walking trash, <laughs> I want you the fuck out of here. You hear me? Of course. I won't even know I'm here. Let's just continue, okay? This is such total fucking bullshit. Let's go, Holly. It's your turn to talk. Yeah. I can't believe this. This is someone I've worked with for decades. This is a guy, he gets freaking shakes when he has to order food. I mean, what are you telling me? It, it's all an act? Just, what have you found? You kill her at the motel. Snow, Crane is completely obsessed with you. Oh my god, if this is about how Crane treats me at work... Just I listen to me for a second, alright? I followed a lead to this shithole motel, the Open Arms. Crane had a room there, and he's been taking prostitutes, or at the very least Lily, and making her look like you while he was... you know. He, he 
getting his rocks off. Over and over again. This is... I don't even know what to say right now. I really don't. I'm just trying everything I can right now to not picture it. I'm sorry, Snow. And I'm sorry I had to be the one to tell you. You're sure this is what happened? This is what he's been doing? Because please, Bigby, don't confuse things. You took a cab here, right? I'll drive. Snow? Marissa? What is it? I'm sorry, but Holly's asking for you. Are they starting the burn? Yes. Everyone who spoke should really be present for this part. She's kind of distraught. You're not leaving yet, are you? Two minutes. I don't mean to be... Uh, uh, take your time. No, I get it. Take your time. It won't take long. How'd it go? At the motel? Did you find anything? No? Yeah. Lily was killed there. It was an awful mess. Oh. I'm sorry. Nerissa! Yeah. Coming! Fucking hell. Wait, 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 easy now, girl. You oh, know how no. this goes. The first Please thing in a assholes. visit, you oh, say, how do you do? How do you do? I tell you to run. It won't do any good. Just make it more fun for me. What are you dreaming about? You ain't a fast enough pup to prevent me from emptying both barrels into Snow White's face over there. We'll snip to the chase for all sakes. A little bird told us that you're fitting to go after Crane. And you see, we have an interest in that particular boy. So you leave Crane alone, and we leave you alone. Just take a little vacation is all. Don't even have to go anywhere. You have three seconds to fuck off before this goes to a place you don't want it to. Oh, I don't have my stopwatch on me. So what's it gonna be? We have a deal? You leave Crane alone, and we leave you to yours? Brother, speak your mind. Fastly now. What's it gonna be? Just don't hurt anyone, D. That don't sound like a yes to me. Always wanting to do things the fun way. Ladies, gentlemen, invertebrates, please, rest easy. This is not... What the hell is going on? What's happening? Very sorry to impose, but we only had a deal to work out with Bigby. And we're unhappy to report that things did not go as smoothly as planned. I'm not regret this. What is he talking about? Never you mind that. It ain't any of your... What deal? They want me to leave Crane alone. Crane? Oh, now you shouldn't have done that, old boy. Really. That wasn't right, telling everyone our dealings. What the hell? What did I tell you? Oh, what shit. did I say? Ali? Think you motherfuckers could come here uninvited? You think you can just fucking interrupt Lily's funeral? Calm down, darling. It's just a simple business transaction. You fucking freaks are not getting away with this. Holly, let me handle this. Yeah, let's spare all the fuss. It's just a dead hole. I'm gonna kill you! Holy I got shit. It <laughs> shit. Oh, epic fail. It's I wish I could have jumped uh no. Are you fucking kidding me? That's this has... Are you fucking kidding me? 
Holy shit, come on. Well, well that was a failure on me sides, so. uh <laughs> Yeah, that kinda sucks. And why don't the, why don't they have guns? Like I get they could I get they I get they can like at least police like at least uh Big B he can uh tra uh transform into a werewolf. Transform to a yeah, to his actual form, but like he should have a fucking gun. Like these dudes got guns like Holy fuck. Holy fuck! I did as well as I could to take out the buckshot, but there's still some shards left embedded in your shoulder. They'll eventually warm their way out on their own, but until they do, you're gonna be sore. Big B, Dr. Swinehart was appointed Fabletown physician for a reason. It's okay. There's only one thing you have to take away from all this. Take it easy. Oh! Don't go looking for any more fights. Keep strain off your heart. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm good. Is she? She's fine, Bigby. I had everyone that got wounded sent home. Holly refused to let me see where she lived, so I left her and Grendel back at her bar with a dose of juniper and spring water. Just remember what I said. The stitches won't hold up if you continue to act like you normally do. Bruh. in moderation. I'll try. And uh, eat more chicken. I'll try to. All right then. Very good. Business office. I know. I'll have to call you back. The town is starting to find out. Well, I'll leave you two to it then. Miss White? Big B? To recap, Crane watched me through the magic mirror uncover his room at the open house, and then he smashed it so we couldn't use it ourselves to go after him. We know this because Buffkin was drinking in the rafters. That about cover? Once he puts all the pieces back together, it'll be easy to catch Crane. So, I guess that's the plan, currently. But, I, I don't know. There's no other leads. This is it. Wait for the mirror. Yeah. What the hell is going on? Just... I don't know what the Tweedles get out of this. I don't know if Crane sent them. I don't know if... I mean, this is gonna sound crazy, but... Do you really think Crane did it? Everything points to him. I get it. But do you really think he killed those women? Because it's just... It's incomprehensible to me. He killed them. He sent Dean Dumb to slow me down. He's... He was a conniver. A, a coward. A liar. And I'll always hate him for that. And I'll hate him for how he... Held me in his thoughts. Murdering prostitutes. Ow. Everything okay over there? Yes, Miss White. I just cut myself on a piece of the glass. Nothing to worry about. Thanks for tonight. By the way, well, that could have gone really terribly. I mean, even worse than it did. I'm glad you were there. I just feel bad for Holly, really. Yeah. Time heals everything eventually. At least, I hope so, for her sake. Hopefully. Can I, um, ask you a question? It's kind of personal. And... I don't want to offend you, but after tonight, sure. it's just, when stuff hits the fan, like, like it did tonight, it feels like before we came to the city, it feels kind of like home. And I've heard it said that maybe in some tiny little bottled up way, deep inside, I kind of enjoy it. Yeah, that's going on. That's my, my mood. <laughs> because it gives you an excuse to just, you know, stop pretending. <sighs> oh, damn it, I don't... Uh... <laughs> I guess it doesn't matter. Uh, hey guys? We have a problem. What is it? I can't finish the mirror. It's missing a piece. Of course. 
What do you mean, missing a piece? Yes, it's, uh... Crane must have taken a shard with him. Oh, I can't believe this. I saw Crane pick something up after he smashed it. I'm sorry, I didn't realize what it was until now. The mirror can't work unless it's You're whole. drunk. You're well, drunk and that's not entirely true. Or what, Buffkin? What? We sit around and wait until it mends itself? We have no idea how long that will take. We're just gonna have to do this the hard way. I'm just saying, waiting is an option. No. We can't depend on the mirror. What exactly is the hard way? We'll look through his things, his desk, everything. He had to have left something that tells us where he's going. He's a neat freak, but he was never that smart. Smart enough to take a piece of the mirror. We can that is true. This ourselves. I know never that mind it... that. Come help me look. Give Bunk, give Bunk in a chance. Yeah, a chance to get drunk. I like him. <laughs> he may be a he may be a weirdo, but he's okay in my book. Hi, Mr. Bigby. I can still help you catch Crane, you know. Oh yeah. Yes. I saw him jump on the telephone before he left. He called up somebody. He said he needed to see his witch, or that he would need to get to the witch for that. Whoever that is. His witch? Yes, it sounded like the one he got his snow glamours from. Hmm. It's not your fault. Look, uh, the whole mirror thing, it's not your fault, right? Y you mean it? Yeah. Look at your little ass of done. <laughs> Buy them, squatch them. You didn't see anything else, did you? No, not, uh, not especially. I'll just see if I can do anything about this. You do that. There's a page here that was torn out. Oh yeah? Buffkin, do you know what was here? It's a ring, at least. Every magical item not retained in the armory is assigned to someone in Fable Town. It must be this witch he's going to see. Wait, what witch? Buffkin overheard Crane set up a meeting with the witch. Oh yes, it sounded like the one he got his, uh, new glamours from. It must be about this ring. Why not mention this before? No one asked me. Buff him. And I'm hung over. I'm sorry. <laughs> he set the meeting at 2 a.m. Tonight. What's going on? Is the mirror fixed yet? Bluebeard, this isn't the time. Is the mirror fixed or isn't it? You called I me called to... I called just to see if you knew where Crane could be. And that was it, okay? And I'm sorry I said anything more than that. Well, you did and I know. The cat's out of the bag. So, can we find the dull pervert or not? No, it can't be fixed. It's missing a piece. This is none of Bluebeard's business, Bigby. None of my business? Crane's the murderer. He escaped. It seems he spoiled your every attempt at locating him. And now it's none of my business? We don't know if he's the murderer. Oh, please. Of course he is. Look, this just isn't the time. He took a piece of the mirror so we can't use it. The only thing we know is that Crane's going to see a witch at 2 o'clock. A.M. or P.M.? I just want to get drunk. A.M. Listen, Bluebeard, you're not a part of this. I don't think you're in any position to turn away help. Why do you even care about this? Why? I'm invested in this enterprise we call Fable Town. <laughs> Literally invested. Since it's mostly my money that keeps the whole thing running. Tonight I hear the crane has been killing fables? And there's no system in place to catch him? Look, we know that crane is going to see a witch, and it's to acquire a magic ring. What's the ring? We don't know what it does or who it's assigned to since crane tore its page out of the book. This farce was your ridiculous idea for a plan. 
You in charge in the first place. Fixing the mirror was the most logical You're thing. You're a secretary. He's the chef. And none of you were chosen to run this office. Who elected you to make these decisions? Nobody, but that Who doesn't... elected her to spend my money? Well, I've been doing that unofficially for years. Unofficially is not officially. Damn it. It'll have to do for me. Uh, well, can her decide? excuse me for having the Commonwealth in mind. <laughs> They need to make those things a little bit longer. <laughs> All right, yeah. let's just look on the bright side. That's we know Crane said. is going to see the witch that's been supplying him black market glamours. Thanks oh to my me. God. And that he'll be there at two. So that gives us An hour? a few short hours to find out who oh, it is okay. and where they live and get them all at once. And a few shorter hours, the more you babble about it. We haven't been the ones babbling. Yeah, yeah. Just point in the direction you want me to check first. Since Lily used the glamours, she'd have known who the witch was. And I don't think Holly's burned her things yet. It would probably have the address or a phone number or something. And Bigby is free to go there if he likes. But I think the question you should be asking is just what do the two Tweedles know about this? It doesn't matter what they know. After tonight, they'd never go to their office. They're not smart enough to try and go anywhere else. The trip trap is the better option to track the witch down. If Holly has Lily's things, that'd probably be the safer bet. I don't really care what you two do. I'm going to his apartment. What? You can't just go up there. And why the hell not? We already looked for the key, remember? I don't know where it is. Then I'll pick the blasted lock. <sighs> I've wasted enough time waiting for the mirror to find it. I won't waste any more. You just can't go up there alone, all right? I've no interest in nicking his vapes, my dear, if that's what concerns you. What concerns me is you traipsing through possible evidence. Oh, now it's evidence. Bluebeard, just stay out of it, all right? You'll just mess things up further. They can't get any more messed up. We have to find the witch, Bluebeard, since that's where he's going. Or the sniveling weasel chickened out. Never win it anyway. And is upstairs no. right now in his pitiful penthouse, crafting a fort out of couch cushions. <laughs> this is how a smart person would do it. So this is how we're going to do it. Wherever you go, I'll go to the other. I don't like you going anywhere unsupervised. He's up to something. I don't know what it is, but we don't have the time to really worry about it now. Where are you gonna go, Bigby? Find the witch. So you leave Crane alone? And we leave you alone. I'd love to join you, but there's some business I need to attend to. No, no, I'm better off dealing with things alone. I don't need sympathy and I don't need so who do you So who do you think Crane's apartment, Dee's office, or Holly's bar? I don't think Crane's apartment. Crane's place is right here. I should check that out first. Perfect. And I'll go to those two imbeciles' office. Crane's penthouse number is 1903. Let me know what you find. I hope you know what you're doing. I hope I know what I'm doing too. <laughs> what big eyes you have. <laughs> No said Crane lives in 1903. Oh. I'm not gonna fucking talk. Crane? If I see him, I'm killing him. Well, now I'm at 55 minutes left. Holy shit. Damn it. Must have missed him. There's gotta be something about his witch here. My 
dearest snow, I know you must be aware of my feelings towards you. Watching you work. I'm unable to control myself. It's because I love you. Jesus. Crooked man. This is all I could get. I'm afraid Snow will start to notice. I'll have the rest for you next week. Think about Crane. What's going on here? Confiscate money. Uh. Pocket. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey. found in the open arms. Math, science, history. I had to guess. This shit didn't work. <laughs> I've never seen him that excited. Guess things have changed. in here? Okay. okay, I guess it's just this. It hasn't been used in years. I forgot. He used to teach in the old days. Anything in here? Yeah, this place might be good. And they found a damn key. Fuck. Wait. Aw. Really? No. <laughs> Oh, I want to throw it. What the? Oh, oh, oh. <gasps> what the fuck is that? Jack? Wow. It is just unbelievable running into you here. I mean, of all the places. This weather, right? Jack and the Beanstalk? A little damp, I guess. But, you know, some people like that sort of thing. Explain yourself. Now! Okay, okay, okay. I know what it looks like, but before you go jump into conclusions, Crane pays me to water his plants when he's gone. It's a stipend, but you know I need the work. I wouldn't do it for free, right? You know me. So, anyways, uh, now that I'm done... I don't see any plants. Hey! <laughs> okay! You got me. Just take it easy. I don't like to lie to. Okay, hey! I heard Crane was leaving town. I figured he owed us little people a parting gift. <coughs> or just me a parting gift. You heard? I have my sources, okay? You see how he lives. He doesn't need any of this shit. Have you heard anything about a witch? A connection with Crane? Maybe something about a ring? What are you getting at? What else do you want me to say? I got bills to pay. Not like Crane's gonna use any of this stuff. Are you working for Crane? You tell the truth. No, I'm not working for anybody. Just take it easy. I forgot I can't punch him. <laughs> you know, this tortured lonely pig eater bit's gonna get old eventually. Don't you get tired of it? I mean, what are you even doing here? Are you just wandering around Crane's apartment? I'm trying to find Crane's witch. He's supposed to be heading there. Crane's witch? Is that why he took off? Who the fuck cares about yeah. any of that? 
I mean, don't you think, oh, I don't know, solving these murderers should be your top priority? I have reason to believe Crane might be the murderer. Give me a fucking break. Ichabod Crane? I mean, the guy's clenched tighter than a, you know, than a... Well, I'm having difficulty coming up with something appropriately tight right now, but you get what I'm... It doesn't I'm... matter if you believe it or not. I have evidence that places him at the scene of the crime, so I'm bringing him in. Okay, fine. You know what's best. Well, looks like you've got it covered. Anyway, it was really nice catching up with you. I mean that. Bigby, I believe you're, uh, blocking the doorway there. If I could just, uh, squeeze through. You know, on second thought, it's actually funny I ran into you like this. I think I can help you out. I'm listening. Go on. I'm listening. If you're looking for Crane's witch, well, I just happen to know who she is. If you're interested, information comes at a price, though. All right. Tell me. Let's make ourselves a deal. I tell you about Crane's witch, and you forget you saw me. One hand washes the other side. Wipe the whole incident under the rug. Come on, what do you say? <sighs> Fuck it. I got a deal. Perfect. Tell me where I can find this witch. Strong grip. No work today? Her name is Auntie Green. Crane's been trying to keep it under wraps for years. I'm not sure what kind of a deal he's made with her, but from what I hear, he's in pretty regular contact. How reliable is this info? That's my sister. Are you sure you have the right name? <laughs> Absolutely. Without a doubt. It's like three o'clock. Uh, the Shit. thing is, I don't know where you'd find her. Exactly. You've got to be fucking kidding me. But even a name is a good start, right? I mean, that's more than what you came in with. Yeah. Right. I'll keep my eyes open for you. If I find anything else you might be interested in, I'll be sure to let you know. I think this arrangement can be beneficial to both of us down the line. Ugh. It was just lovely running into you. Hang on a second. Oh, come on. <laughs> My dear. Do you always talk to yourself like that? Yes. <laughs> the witch uses the white deer on everything. It's a symbol or trademark, I guess. Figured I could sell these at the Lucky Pawn. The Lucky Pawn? It's one of the crooked man's places. I work there sometimes. When I need some stability. It's a pawn shop. Get it? Yeah, yeah. You find any more of these? Uh, no. Nervous about something? What do you mean? Look me in the eye and tell me you didn't steal anything else. Come on, Jack. That it? Big me? Are you still here? I'm done here. Mind by me. Who are you talking to? What's he doing here? Evening, Miss White. Good evening. What's going on? He's here to help. Jack had some information about Crane's witch. Oh, what did you find out? Her name is Green. Auntie Green. He doesn't know where we can find her. Wait, right. Crane's meeting her at 2 a.m. It's Snow. I found a note with some money attached. Crane has been embezzled from Fable Town. Of course, because why half ass being a complete sleazeball? Do you think this is tied to the murders? I mean, I guess it doesn't matter yet. It's probably connected. I think it's connected. Maybe the girls found out about it? I don't know. Mm, maybe? Crane's meeting Greenleaf at 2 a.m. And we have no idea where she is. We're going to cut it close as it is. I'll figure it out. You should try Holly's. She still has all of Lily's things. If she hasn't burned it already. There's still Tweedledee's place. We know they're involved. And we know that's where Bluebeard went. Where do you want to go? You don't have much time. Um... Uh... Dean Dumps? Yeah, Dean Dumps. Yeah, I'll Dean go Dumbs. pay the Tweedle brothers a visit. I'm sure they know something. Okay. 
I'll give Bafkin the name and hope he finds something in the records. Let me know what he comes up with. I'll be in touch. I hope you'll do the same. We'll catch him, Snow. Hang on, uh. Jack. I want to talk to you. <laughs> oh, poor guy. You can't catch a break. Oh, uh. hi, Bluebeard. Oh, no, I'm sorry, big guy. You can't come in. Yeah, yeah, because the thing is, and I don't know if you'd heard, but I'm a third degree black belt in, uh, you know, whatever. So I wouldn't take any chances, hombre. Last guy who messed with me got his marbles kicked right through his abdomen, all right? Excuse me. Oh. Hi, Sheriff. My catcher. What? Are you okay? Who are you talking Where to? Is you here? Who are you talking to just now? <laughs> Yourself. Bluebeard was here. He was looking for something. I don't know what. He said it was an official investigation. But how was I supposed to know if he was telling the truth? When I wouldn't let him in, I... Shit. I found what he was looking for, I guess. It's just super annoying. Where did he go? He just finished cleaning. Do you know where he went? No. Oh. I don't know what he wanted. I, I didn't see what he did after... I'm really sorry, dude. Was he telling the truth? He said you sent him. Yeah. I don't know. I just thought he was lying. I'm not supposed to just let people in here. But then he got go. mad, saying, oh, just terrible things. Look, I'm running out of time. Shit. Oh, shit. Is everything okay? I gotta go. What? Where? I'm headed to the trip trap. Just, uh, just call Snow and tell her what's happening, okay? Can you do that for me? Okay, I guess. Fuck. Take care of yourself, Fly. You too, Sheriff Bigby. Can you just turn to his role form and just run down the street? Fuck. Really, um, it's on me. Okay, we still it's 115. <laughs> Jesus. We're closed. Guys, open up. It's the sheriff. Hey, look, Woody, it's the sheriff. Okay, okay, before you get all huffy, you... It was Snow who let me go, all right? It just, there was no sense in me staying in jail. She, she said so herself. Don't soil yourself, Woody. I'm sure he understands. Luckily for you, I don't have the time to get pissed off about this right now. Well, come on in, buddy. This is favorite. Brent, what? He's a traveler. A weary traveler in search of some... Hospitality, right? Yeah. I'll only be here two minutes. Just need to check through all these things. <laughs> Whatever. I don't trust him. He did help me, but I still don't trust him. I want a drink. Anybody else want a drink? Friend, Swinehart said you shouldn't mix it. You think I give a fuck what that fucking guy says? Or what you say? Grant, oh, you know, didn't drink all day. Have you seen Lily's things? What wasn't burned at the funeral? Um, is that stuff supposed to be here? Or? Nope, haven't seen it. Holly's asleep in back. You won't be able to wake her. Really? The doc gave him both barmesidal ambrosia for the pain. But the deal is, if you resist going to sleep, like I am right now. It gives you a very, very, very nice high. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I told you his man was fading. I told and you. He said that he shouldn't mix it with alcohol. That man faded. He, he fucking, um, what's it, what's it called? He blasted. <laughs> high yes, off his he did. ass. Certainly did. Well, let me tell you something. I haven't felt this good in a long time, fat boy. There's no way to wake her up. 
Oh, uh, no. Anyways, the doctor gave me strict orders to let the fine woman sleep. She's had a very traumatic experience. Come on. That funeral back there? That was a shitty fucking send-off for a pretty okay lady. <laughs> you weren't fucking there. I'm talking to Bigby now, okay? I don't say you being there help things much. Friend, don't start nothing. Don't start anything. You think I shot up the place? It wasn't my fault. They got away though, didn't they? Whatever. It's all right. I'm too out of it to get into it. I want to clear the air. We're all in this dung heap of a fucking shit town together. We're all gonna have a toast. All of us. Let's here for one thing. Look through Lily's belongings and get out of here. Yeah, right? yeah, I know, I know. And I want to help you, okay? And I will. Oh, First, come on. Indulge me. It'll take two seconds. As a show of good faith. And after, we'll all hunt and peck for Lily's shit or whatever. And Bigby didn't come here to get loaded with you. I don't want to get loaded with him. I'm running out of time, Greg. Uh oh. Gren, the doc said you needed to rest. How many times you fucking gonna warn me about it, huh? You're not my fucking mother, so just get off my back! I said I was sorry, all right? I can't do anything about it. It's done. <laughs> what more do you want? What else can I fucking say here? I don't want anything from you, Woody. Cut this shit out now. I don't care what it's about. Oh, I forgot. You haven't heard the news. This walking lard cake was paying Holly's sister to let him fuck her behind all of our backs. And Holly had to find out going through all of her sister's oh, shit. shit. What fun that must have been. Trick after trick of this fat ass and little. I didn't plan for that, all right? And our thing, whatever it was, it wasn't a big deal. It wasn't. I never fucked her when she was snowing. I didn't know nothing about that. No, but you knew Holly would flip out. And you knew for a damn good fucking reason. You know what? Fuck this. I don't need this shit. Oh yeah, that's it. Now you're teary-eyed. You were always such a low life. I don't know why I never realized it till now. What do you think about this fucking loser, Sheriff? He can think whatever he wants. I don't give a shit. I think whatever happened was between them. He really is dead. Right. Put this whole thing to rest, Greg. I should have went after the the dumb and D brothers before I took Woody. Grand. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know where Lily's shit is. <laughs> Check Holly's room, I don't know. But I wouldn't wake her if I were you. Sleepwalkers and trolls. I think that's the role. I can't find her stuff. I might have. Actually, Big B, if you'll excuse me, it seems that I'm gonna pass out. What a day. All right, Sheriff? What a fucking day. <laughs> I <laughs> won't remember this. Oh god. Ew. He all messed up. Oh boy. Is there like... Okay, I don't think there's anything over here. Do you have to move that giant hand of hers? <laughs> oh no! I don't want to touch her. She's she's big. SpongeBob shit. Come on, move, move, move her hand, big boy. <laughs> oh yes. 
Thank you. Don't put your hand back down and hit me in the face. Something in that looks promising. Mm. This is that one thing that we keep seeing. Uh, you, what a... Uh, what a... No, Holly. It's me, Big B. Big B. Boss closed. And excuse me, but I'm not in the mood for entertaining. But what the fuck? I know you're not gonna leave. You do what you want. You always do what you want. I feel bad for her. Yeah. yeah. That's what we look like, though. Do you even give a shit about us? The strays. The ones that aren't in that fancy high rise. Those of us that gotta work for a living. You may not believe this, but yeah, I care about everyone who came over. I don't know about that, Sheriff. You're friends with your friends, and we ain't friends. Promising. Why do you even come here? There's nothing here to investigate. I'm just I'm tracking a lead. To Crane? Yeah. Be honest, Sheriff. Why are you going after him? Crane, you could have quit a long time ago, but you're still going. Why? Did they give you this job for a reason? I'm doing this for Lily. She deserves whatever justice I can get her. I'll take it. Oh, we're going Facebook, yeah. You were getting your glamour on this day, and one of these has to be the witch. Anti Greenleaf. Gotcha. Hello, this is Snow White calling. I'm looking for Bigby. Is anyone there? Bigby, if you're there, okay? Snow? Oh, oh, tell me you found something. I got it, Snow. Her address was here with Lily's things. It's on uh, White Plains Avenue, 1284. It's an apartment complex. Great. Let's get going. All right, let's go. I don't want to miss him. I'll meet you there. All right, I'll see you there. I just got here. Yeah, yeah. me too. It's number 23. I haven't seen it yet. I'm late. Yeah, I know. Oh no, we are late. This is it. All right. How do you want to do this? Long gone. I'm kicking it down. Fuck that. Wait, 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 wait. What are you doing? What does it look like? Don't just kick it in. We don't know what's on the other side. Let's just save the last resort for the last. Make sense? Fine, okay. What would you have me do instead? I don't know, knock? I mean, we have no idea what's behind this. Hello? Oh, thank God I didn't kick it. Hi. <laughs> you woke me up. Uh, sorry about that. Um, Is something wrong? Well, pardon the intrusion. I wasn't aware this was a munchkin's house. No, Dorothy, it isn't. <laughs> Sharp kid. <laughs> Dorothy's a girl's name, you know. And, uh, if I was any less secure in my manhood, I might take it as an insult. <laughs> What's your name? Rachel. What's yours? Just so... We're not 
strangers. I'm Big B. This is Snow. Pleased to meet you. How do you do? Is there, um, is there anything you need? I'm not allowed to let people in. Is your mother at home, currently? I don't need a babysitter. I can cook dinner all by myself. Oh, shit. Is there something you want? I don't think I can really help you. Rachel, do you mind if I take just a quick peek around? We'll be very quick, and he won't touch anything. I've been here all night. Nobody's been here. Okay, Big B. I'm gonna trust you not to break anything. Don't get me in trouble. What are you looking for specifically? Crane. You can still be here. I trust... I don't know if I should trust the girl or not. I don't. No one's been over all night, so... He's just going to check. Butcher. What's that? A package. Having to do with someone called the Butcher. It's empty. Not here. There's no one here but me. <sighs> Fuck. Where do you buy your clothes? At a store? Oh, look. What is this? Mommy uses that to carve her trinkets. It's from the old world. Trinkets? Um, like glamours? She doesn't know. Nothing that looks like Crane was here either. Nothing? See? Okay, that, that girl is very suspicious. <laughs> Told you. It's... Pretty rare to see a burner like this. <sighs> Dowdy. That's how we like it. Your mama hunter? Oh no, she never... That was found in the woods around Dick's Mountain. I think. Is that your mom? Uh-huh. Ah, fuck. Let me guess. Big band or classical? Honky tonk. No accounting for taste. God damn it. I shouldn't say that. Nothing. I keep getting whiffs of that aftershave of his. I do too. Can I go to bed now? Please. Is that a glamour tube? No, he really doesn't let anyone play with that. Trust me, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Please, 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 just put that back exactly where you found it. No one is allowed to play with it's that. It's all right, honey. Vicky's not going to break it. Don't understand. She will freak out if she discovers I let people in here and let them touch her stuff, okay? She checks all the time to see what comes in. I don't want to get in trouble. But I'm already gone. Okay. Just put it back exactly where it was, please. I'm not gonna break it. I just want to open it. No! Put it down! Please, don't! This isn't what you think! You gotta believe me. The guy is here, I think! It's gonna be okay, Rachel. Please, I'm begging you. I don't wanna, I don't wanna get in trouble. Do it fast. I knew from the background. I had a feeling sometimes. You think this is a game? You think we have time to waste on this shit? You think this is some kind of game? No, I don't. But congratulations on winning it, if that matters to you. All right, start explaining. And from the beginning. I was born in the woods to a jackal and a... Please, Granny. Just help us catch a crane. That's all we care about. That's not all we care about. 
Snow? You were nicer than I thought you would be when I was... But if I help you, I can promise that help will not go unpunished. There's powers at work here beyond your pathetic authority. Whatever it is, Greenleaf, whatever it is that's keeping you from saying something... We can protect you, okay? Whatever it is you're afraid of, we can make sure that it won't come to pass. You have no idea what's going on, do you? Okay, you know what I think? I think we've been more than patient with that. This witch has been selling illegal glamours that continue to undermine everything we've built. She's harboring a fugitive that took advantage of it, and now she's resisting every attempt to make things right. I frankly don't give a crap if she's afraid for her life. We can at least make sure she never hurts us again. We're destroying the tree. No! Huh? How dare you come in no, here and threaten to take from me the one thing that... That tree is ancient. It's part of the family, and it's the only thing paying for the shithole apartment. And the feebles who can't afford the glamours from you come to me for help. Without them, where do you think they could go? Give me that. You're making money off of other people's misery. Two fables are dead because of this path. It's too dangerous leaving the stuff of her. You think I like being the old woman in these stories? The men are heroes, the ladies are whores, and the old hags like me get to watch everyone they love die. We have very different ways of handling our food. Very different means to handle it too. And I don't use it as an excuse to wreck people's lives. So now it's too much. It'll be easy. Don't ruin this woman's life over this. Ruin this woman's life? It's a slap on the wrist compared to what she's done. Bigby, this is an order. Burn the tree. No! 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 I'll tell you, I'll tell you. Green was here. He was here and he left. He went to the pudding and pie to try to use my ring on the girls over there to get information. What does the ring do? The penis, it's the ring of despair. Here's the protection around the girl's speech. He says pulling the truth out of them will prove his innocence. It won't, though. Damn thing lost its power decades ago. I'm sorry, but we still can't let you keep the tree. It wouldn't be right after what's happened. Big B. Please, Sheriff. No, do you really want to kill this tree for Fable Town? Or do you want me to burn it because you're pissed off at Crane for what he did? They stole my hair from my apartment, Big B. So, yeah, I'm pissed, but I still know what's best for this town. We're not burning the tree, Snow. <laughs> All right, let's go. She's gonna hate me, but it's whatever. Hey, I don't want really. the poor little tree now. Don't think this is over. I won't. Yeah, we burn that tree down. What for? What good that be like? Like the fuck people won't be able to afford glamour and see and see how we have to get her life get ruined. Like she's not doing the ruin life. Yeah. I'll end the video here. <laughs> Hold on, let me pause.